know, I don't want to admit it, but our time in the Champions League, well, we've been knocked out. But we've got one more match to hopefully get three more points and get just a little bit more money out of it. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Well, we're back in the league, and we have one more match in the Champions League. Uh, we've been knocked out, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Lyon has qualified. So either Man United or Bayern Munich, depending on the results of today's matches, are not making it through. One of them is getting knocked out. Bit of a surprise there. A bit of a surprise, and we helped contribute to Lyon moving on. Let's look at the schedule. Played one match since where we last left off, and it was that match 2-4. It, it was a tough one because I felt like we had a chance to get it equal. We never had the chance to win it, but I did feel like we was equal. The defense was really poor in this match. As you can see, Dacey looked bad. Adore looked bad. Williamson looked bad. Cook looked bad as well. But looking at the match stats, we didn't look too bad. I mean, it was, it was rough. It was it was a rough one, let's be honest. Uh, Valentina gets a goal. It was his first of the season. That is crazy. Uh, Gasson, he gets a goal as well. We are still dealing with some injuries in case you missed it in the last episode. Mr. Anderson out for three months. Rob Hart's out for three weeks. Schuff's out for three weeks as well. Good news is Junior is on his way back. He's just not fully ready yet. And Van Doss, I think he was injured like slightly because we haven't played him in a minute. He's back. We've got Cook and Goal. A back four of Walsh, Norman Williamson, Adore, and Dacey. In the midfield, we've got Van Lenberg, Essahal, and Gasson. Right-hand side, Valentina. Left-hand side, Richter up top. Panu, we're going up against Anderlecht in the first one. Forgot to mention that. Where are they sitting at in the league? Sitting in sixth. So it would be, it'd be nice to get the three points here. Definitely would be nice to get the three points. Do we do it? We haven't looked good in a minute. Let's be real. We haven't. We've, we've struggled. I think the last time we looked decent was the Man United match, and we didn't really look good in that match either. We got lucky. And we're on a good run. I don't remember being on a good run. I mean, we're not in terrible form. We've won three of our last five. It's just not what I'm used to seeing. Like, like it's a bit of a – it's a bit – I think that the form's a bit, bit misleading because we haven't we haven't really looked very threatening out there. It's, it's I don't know. Hey, I found a new striker by the way. In case we lose Bonu this next season, and I've offered him a contract, and he might be free. Like if we get him, I mean, if we get him, he's he's going to be a free free player signing a pre contract. And guys, we're going to have to take a look at him before the next match. Van Leberg here, Essa Hall. I'm ready to get some guys healthy. By the way, Valentina. We need to take a look at our team, like the reserve team, and see what midfield players that we can bring up because we're really hurting in the midfield situation. It would be nice for Van Lenberg not to have to play all these matches at center mid where we could drop him back in as a center back and kind of get our door out of the matches because he's not ready yet. Oh. That right there is Big Rick things. That's not Richter. That's Big Rick. One nil. Tell, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> telling you guys, Hillman and Valentina are good players. We've just got to get them going. Gasson finds Richter, first touch, takes the shot, and absolutely buries it, putting us ahead in the first 10 minutes. Very, very nice. Richter from a set piece here. Norman Williamson. We haven't been like this dominating in the first 15 minutes in a while now. Norman Williamson gets his head on that 2-0. I don't know what how many how many he's got this season. But uh, Big Rick, he's making a comeback. Look at him. We had not seen him since the end of last season. Already got a goal and an assist in this match. Wow, 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 wow. Big Rick, welcome back, my dude. Okay, now we need to get a stop against Anderlecht. We don't need him to... Hey. <laughs> hey. That was poor play by everybody. Poor play by Cook. Poor play by the striker. That was that was a chance that goes a begging. It looked like uh, I can't think of his name. Van, Van Lenberg tried hitting a cross in there. It didn't didn't work out too well for him. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, 
we give them two back to back like that, they're going to eventually get one in the back of the net. That's that's a bit disheartening. I think honestly, we're going to do something a little bit different than what we typically do. It's a bit early to do something like this, but I feel like if we put a defensive mid, a defensive mid in there, it'll help us out a little bit. So we're going to drop Van Leberg back. Essa Hall and Gasson both go to box to box midfielders. Maybe that can just help out just a little bit with that that over the top mess because that's happened a couple times now already in this match. And we need a we need to limit that. Look at that though. We're level on points with Gink. We do have the goal differential against us, but we are level on points with him. That's that's Big Richter. I'm sorry, Big Rick. Big Rick. Almost getting his second assist of the day. Van Leberg picks this up. We got two minutes left in this half. Dacey with it. Plays it to Essa Hall. Back to Walsh. And we make it to halftime with a 2-1 lead. And I think we've looked really good in this match. I mean, the stat sheet in the XG chart says different, but scoreline says we are looking very good. Need to get another goal, though. I'd like to get a two-goal lead again. Don't care who gets it. Not that picky about it. I'm not. It's, it's anybody's game. By the way, when Junior gets fully fit, he's going to be back in the starting lineup. I'm just not. I'm not a big Sandy Walsh fan. I know he's on the thumbnail. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. They equalize right out of the halftime whistle. And it looks like it's... Okay, never mind. I apologize. One of our highlights. I thought that was... I don't know why I thought that, but it looked like Andrew Lake, when I wasn't really paying attention, had the ball there. Valentina, take a shot, man. Take a shot. Get us the corner at least. Show some... Tenacity, young fella. Take that shot a little bit sooner. Richter. Trying to get into Norman Williamson again. Trying to make that connection one more time. It didn't work out there, though. Okay. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not worried at all. Mm, not at all. Valentina with the ball. Looked really good on that last highlight. Maybe we can get something out of this one. Vandenberg, Essa Hall. Walsh with it now. Hit the cross. He kicks it back to Essa Hall. Banu. Not for the season for him. We had, our goal scorers this season have not been great. Banu's only got only has only got his ninth this season. That's that's a bit disappointing. Now we've we've tried different stuff with Banu this year. We haven't just left him as an advanced forward. We've tried using him to get some of these other players, other creative players involved in scoring as well. But uh that's a big goal right there for us. A big goal. Valentina's looking like he's maybe the guy that comes off here. I kind of like that. We Okay, so so I get these two guys mixed up. We got Vim here, who we are training on the right wing. Okay. So he can play there. And we got Frawlu, who is can play there as well. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking at that wrong. Okay, so Vim is our like our third choice right wing. I think we're going to give it to him here. Walsh is going to come out as well. Junior coming in. We're making a double sub on that right-hand side to see if we can get a little bit something more out of it. Hopefully we do. I wouldn't mind bringing Vandoss in this match as well if if the scoring stays the same. Get him involved a little bit. Essa Hall buries it. Ooh. 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 Didn't have to do him like that. Yikes. Four, two, scoring is back, baby. Hmm. It's a whole, I know I haven't offered you a new contract, mainly because you want to be an important player. After that, but we may have to have a discussion. Daisy, I know we need to probably take Big Rick off, but you don't get to see Big Rick often, so he's staying on. Van Doss is coming on for Daisy. Going to be our final change of the match. I probably could have moved Dacey up a little bit further and then bring Van Doss on for Richter, but I didn't think about it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Didn't think about it. Van Lemberg with the ball now. Junior. Plays a ball. He's getting it out to Big Rick. He's seen Big, he's seen big Rick doing some Big Rick things out there. Van Doss now has it. Okay, Gasson. Back to Rick. Van Doss over to Van Lemberg. I'm liking this a lot better. We've, we've, we've looked better since we brought the defensive mid in, hadn't we? I said that. I said that. We didn't look good there. We got lucky. But we did look better with the defensive mid, I feel. 
feel like it's worked out a little bit better. We may try it again in the... Uh, I'm going to go for it in the next match against uh, uh, Byron. I'm not going to play cautiously. We're just going to go for it. I mean, we're already knocked out. What's the point? Let's have some fun with it. Big Rick pushes it out. He's got Bono who picks, picks it up, plays it down a little bit. I thought he kind of wasted a position. Well, he did waste a position there. He had, he had a runner on that right-hand side with uh, Vim over there, but didn't take it. Now we're having to backpedal a little bit. It's going to go out for a throw in. Anderlecht to take it. Okay, that's the end of that highlight. Okay, I guess the, I, guess, I don't know what the highlight was that for. What was that for? Four minutes of added time. Okay. I'm not, I'm not nervous. Not at all. Not at all. Norman Williamson, did he actually hit that? I'm guessing so with the way he took off running. Richter with the ball loses out. Said Richter. If I said Big Rick, he would have had it. Danny Gomez is killing us, by the way. He has killed us in this match. He's, he has kept Anderlecht in it. Norman Williamson pushes it out. Bonu's just going to hang out up top. Hey, that's a good win for us. Give us a round of applause. Norman Williamson was our best performer with a 7.7. .7. Also, Big Rick looking right there, 7.7 .7 for him. That's what we're talking about. Match sheet says it wasn't a great match by us, but the scoreline says different. We're going out straight to arms. Happy with the way you played. Big Rick definitely getting the start next match. He's been in and out of the lineup for a while now. Look at that, though. We're level on points with Gink now. They do have the goal differential. We want to show you guys the player that uh, I was talking about. Mr. Dean Martin. Scottish born. Hey. He's wanted by some clubs. He's wanted by us. Okay, so he's under bid by us in New York City FC. I'm hoping that he, he's like, hey, we'll, we'll, but but look at the clubs that are interested in him. You got Burnley, you got Chelsea, you got Liverpool, you got Man City, you got Norwich, you got PSG, and then you got us, New York City FC, and LAFC. Don't think we're going to get him, my dudes, but, but if we do, but if we do, the good thing about him is, is uh, I hope we can see it here. We can't. Uh, we've promised him to be a squad player right now. I mean, that's that's perfect for us right now. If we keep, uh, what's his name? Banu. I've already forgot all about Banu when I seen this guy. I mean, get him. Look at this guy. Finishing of 17. Decisions of 16. Determination 19. His flair is 15 even. I mean, guys, he's a good one, isn't he? If we don't get him, we're going to have to just keep a track on him to see where he goes and see how he does. Add him to a short list. Just throw him in there. I would planned on doing a short list for the players that we sell, that we brought in like Bonu if we eventually ever sell him. Uh, that guy right there is going to go on the list just because I think he looks good already. Well, I have called up one of our reserve players, and that is Van Heck. If you don't remember him, we signed him last offseason, I think. He's not really ready yet, but he's a two-star player, four-and-a-half-star potential player. Uh, kind of a depth piece for us. We brought him in on a free from Beer Scott. I am going to leave, make him available, though, still for the under-21s, just to, so he can get average more, more playing time than what he will on the first team. But, okay, I can't click the right buttons. Thank you. We're just going to do that right there, just to keep him fit, just to help him out a little bit. But uh, we do want him on the bench until we can kind of get some of this stuff solved with some of our injuries that we've got. And, uh, yeah, it's – what is he asking for? Oh, he, he's wanting a new contract. I forgot about that. Valentina, wanted by Inter, though, by the way. Forgot about that. Uh, Owen, you're wanted by a couple clubs here. Ghent, Standard, and Antwerp. I don't think we're going to let you go. Issa, this one's a big one. He's wanted by Udinese. Antwerp window's opening up pretty soon. Maybe we can sell him. We've been wanting to sell him for a little bit, and hopefully we can do that. We're rolling with the defensive midfield, like we said in the last one, and we're playing the same exact tactic. I'm not playing cautiously in this match because, well, I mean, what do we have to lose? Let's just go out there and show them what we can have. Show them what we're made of. We got Cook and Goal back for Junior, Norman Williams, Van Norman Williamson, and Van Lerberg and Dacey midfield. Miskovic, Essahal, Gasson, right hand side, Valentina, left hand side, Richter up top. Bonner. When we get some of our midfield players healthy again, the good thing about that will be uh, if we decide to roll with the defensive midfield player, we can use Schuffs or Hart back there. It's not. It's not so Dacey is. He's going to play terrible. He always plays terrible when he's nervous. 
I'm already in a bad mood for this match just because of that. Don't be, you've literally played for like forever for us. I mean, I get it, it's a big stage, but bud. Already. Already we're going to have to start like just manning this right off the bat. We're going to drop some encouragement. Try to get him in a good mood. Norman Williamson has the ball. He plays it to Van Lenberg. We got Miskovic back. He's back from holiday. Norman Williamson kicks it all the way back to Cook. Trying to get our shape reset. Van Lenberg. Okay, Gasson, Essa Hall. Maybe we get something. I like the way this highlight's building for us. Valentina loses the ball. Essa Hall picks it up. He's got Richter on the left-hand side. Big Rick, you going to make an appearance today? Got a little bit. I got, I got excited for him. I want him to be so good. I do. I want him to be a really good player for us. Or, unfortunately, didn't work out there. Uh, looks like Van Lenberg got beat. Yeah, results in a goal pretty early on, right? Cook's furious with Van, Van Lenberg right there. He's throwing up the arms like, dude, come on. Right here, you can see him. He gets turned around. Just didn't help out there at all. That was that's a bit that's a bit disheartening right off the bat. Verse twenty, we're still down one nil. Not a lot of highlights. I mean, like I feel if we had a good like I feel like if we made a Europa League appearance, and, and I don't want to do that. I want to be in the Champions League. I want to keep earning that money. But I feel like if we was in the Europa League, we would really contend. As I say that, Bayern Munich go up 2-0 against this. Uh. Now, now, granted, we are not playing this match like we have played in the past against some of these other teams. We're playing positive. We're playing a little bit more reckless. Rec re can't say it. Recklessly? Recklessly? Okay. Work your way through it. You can get it eventually. You can, you can achieve all your dreams as long as you keep practicing. And, uh, well... Our defense, they, they definitely need to keep practicing. We're getting carved up like a Thanksgiving turkey. 3-0. Okay, maybe going positive was a mistake. Maybe it was. I, I, looking back at it, yeah, it was probably a mistake, wasn't it? They've had four shots on target. Three of them have hit the back of the net. Not happy with the performance out there. Miskovic, bud, much more to come from you, and I believe in you. I've got faith in you, all that stuff. And I'm making the halftime change. I'm not dealing with Daisy. If Van Doss is in somewhat of a good mood, he's coming in. He's composed. I, I wonder is uh I need to take a look at Daisy and see if like he dreads big matches because it seems like he really does. And let's be real, that's the kind of players I don't like on my team. That's that's a that's a no go for me. Norman Williamson has the ball. He plays it to Junior. Junior playing it all the way across the pitch, trying to get it to Big Rick. Big Rick can't get his head on it. Byron Munich now with the ball again. Okay. Okay, I see the errors of my ways. Man, I just wanted to get a goal against them. I just wanted to try. I just wanted us to try and not play small ball. Miskovic with it. He's getting it up to Essa Hall. Gasson now. Banu. I guess it just shows how lucky we was against Man United. Richter with the ball. Come on, Big Rick. Big Rick. And you had Big Rick. You had, he was ambitious there, Big Rick. But Okay. We're not looking good today. Not looking too good today, are we? Valentina's probably going to come off. I mean, we need to make wholesale changes right now because we're getting getting our Duke boot in. Kalen not coming on. And LeBurg is anxious at this point. Not a good match. Not a good one. Rick, putting out a five point. I can't leave you on, bud, with that. I can't. He was looking so much better. He was looking so much better after that last match, wasn't he? I had high hopes for him. I should have just sent him on holiday. He's tired. He, I'm getting that message after every every game that he's jaded it, and I just wanted to wait it out till after the Champions League was over. But uh, grand scheme of things, we probably should have just went ahead and sent him home. Van Lenberg plays it to Van Dijk. Gasson, Mabangalu, Banu. Banu plays it out wide to knock. Knock can get to it. He's got it. Beats his man. Plays it in. He's looking for Mbangaloo. Mbangaloo wasn't looking for it. Just don't allow another goal, guys. Just don't. Cook. Good job. Good job. I don't really have any positives for this match. 
There's not much you can say about it. We got beat. Bad. Dak was not there. I'm not happy with the performance out there. That was really poor. Banu. You let yourself down. Not only did you let me down, the fans, your teammates, you let yourself down. Big Rick. Come on. We end the, we end the group stage a little bit better than last time. We get four points. Didn't we get better? I think we're better. We got to win, okay? I mean, I'm happy about that. Yeah, we're going to we're going to send him on holiday. I just don't know how many matches he's going to miss. Take a look at it. Which, I mean, in honesty, it's okay. He's not been really good, has he? So he's going to miss the Club Bruges match. Uh, okay. He's missing two matches? Two matches? I think we can we can deal with him out being not being here for two matches. Mabangalu will slot in, and uh, the other guy, Fralu, will be on the bench for those matches. You guys won't see those matches, though. And now that the Champions League is over for us, officially, like we, it, was, it was over for us before this episode, but maybe now is the time we get back in good form. Every time around this year, we, we really struggle. We really struggle. Especially that October month. That October month was really poor for us. Uh, maybe we'll get back in good form, start winning some of these matches, climb the table, get back up and win it again, going back to the Champions League next year. Uh, I do want to take a... Look at the rules before we leave because it seems like it changes every so often. So we you either win. If you win the league, you go to the group stage. If not, you have to work your way into the group stage. And then after that, it's the one you got a Europa League playoff, a conference league, and then another conference league. So yeah, let's do this thing. Okay, was it a mistake? Play positive without some key players like Schuffs, without uh, Rob Hart. Without our center backs being full, it's yeah, it, it was it was probably a mistake. But I wanted to see what we could do against Bayern Munich in that situation. Looking at the match sheet, it really wasn't that bad. We just we allowed too many goals. That's obviously what got us beat. If you enjoyed this episode, though, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.